The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. So we'll start out the show looking at the uh, German DAX. You can see it's been in a downtrend. We just completed a Gartley here uh, on Friday. It's continuing down a little bit over there uh, in Germany. However, if we take a look at the FTSE, we're seeing a little bit of a different pattern because the FTSE has been much uh, more bullish uh, we've actually went up and made new highs. We've completed double ABCD patterns up there at uh, that 72, 70 level, and we have started to roll over a little bit today. But it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit early. Let's just keep our eyes on that because it could be an indication of what we're looking at here. I have done a lot of work, as you know, on the stock market, and we've completed major ABCD patterns in in these things. So far, they've had we've had a 50 handle, well, 40 handle break in the the S and but it came back and got back most of the loss. So if it closes above that uh, 4475, 4480 level, that would be very, very constructive. But it has to do that. And we just made the ABCD pattern and the 78% retracement in the NASDAQ there at uh, 15,175. So that's going to be an interesting one to look at. Folks, this is a very, very important day uh, in the calendar for me. Uh, if you remember back in, most of you weren't around, of course, back in 1987. But uh, it was a Sunday. And uh, on the 18th, the market had closed on the 16th of October of that year. The Dow was down 106 points. We were trading at around 26. I believe we're trading around 2580, 2600, down 106 points, which was a huge drop. And the options expired right on their bottom, and I happened to be in those, and it uh, it was very nice. However, had I hold the November options instead of the Octobers, it would have been a, a big, a different story. But frankly, folks, even on the day of the 19th, many of those options, uh, they just didn't trade. The, the people that were in them just didn't do anything. In other words, uh, if there, a person was short to put, you know, he already was killed. And so he was basically looking at a spot to, what am I going to do? So he just wouldn't even put the order in. And so there was just illiquidity like you couldn't believe. I, I know you're not going to believe this, folks, but the spread on that day in the S&P, now remember, we were trading at big handles. In other words, instead of $50 a point, it was $500 a point. So there was a $5,000 spread or more in the buy and the sell. In other words, if you had to buy it, you had to pay up 5000 for it. If you wanted to sell it, you had to say – uh, uh, lower it down by 5,000. And I'm not joking because I there was just no liquidity. Uh, more bankruptcies occurred that day than uh, any other day up until 1995 when Mr. Greenspan uh, dropped the interest rates in the middle of the day and the S&P gapped up uh, 30 handles. And that was big handles too. Uh, that was the largest number of bankruptcies at the Merck. And that was a lot of flack about that. But that's uh, time for another story. Now, that was an important day for me for many different reasons. One, Eddie Horowitz, my good buddy and my attorney, was getting married down at uh, the Bel Air Country Club. There was all kinds of uh, people there from the financial industry and stuff. And my daughter, Jill, and I, I went down because I knew I was going to have a little too much champagne and she was going to drive home for me. And so I didn't have that much. But uh, we did come home and uh, we stopped to have dinner at our favorite place. And I don't know why I did it, but I called New York just to get an indication on gold. I was watching the gold market, and I wanted to see where the Nikkei was going to open. And, of course, the Nikkei opened down sharply, but not that sharply. And gold was up about $15, which was kind of interesting. So I didn't pay much attention. When I, By the time I got back to uh, Pismo Beach and got up to the trading house and stuff, 
Uh, I, I was tired, so I went to bed, and when I got up about oh, 04 in the morning, I started to get indications of what was happening, and it was really uh, you know, really quite amazing. Now, those of you, they call that a market tra- crash, folks, but frankly, that was the best buying opportunity for stocks during the 1980s, that uh, January, excuse me, that October uh, 19th and 20th. The 20th actually made a slightly lower low by a tick or two, as I recall. But that was the exact 61% retracement of the low from August 9th of 1982. So when we see these big breaks, they're probably big buying opportunities. So when they happen, and if they do, pay attention to those. That's what we try to look at. Now, we think that we're getting ready to have some type of a correction here. We had perfect ABCD patterns in all of these indices you know, over the weekend. And the one I wanted to bring to your attention here today is the one that we don't see very often and now just get that up here uh, hopefully I know I have there it is just a second here this is the Dow Jones industrial average folks now this is the actual uh, a- average itself by the way folks Basil Chapman's doing a show tomorrow 90 minutes of what to expect for the rest of the year and uh, if you if you have a any idea about technical analysis, pay attention to Basil. He's got some of the best stuff out there as far as patterns and cycles, and it's 90 minutes, and uh, it's for his subscribers. So uh, take a look at that opening call. Just go to tfnn.com and click it on the button, and you'll get, get in to see it. But here's the Dow Jones Index. Now, the number that we made on Friday uh, – it's right within the ballpark here. If the Dow gets up more than 150 points today, I would consider that a, a failure of this. But it's such a perfect ABCD pattern, folks. It's a double ABCD pattern. You can see from the time of the 19th and 20th of September, you know, basically we had here was a one-month rally. That's exactly what that is with double ABCD pattern. So this is the type of pattern, well, if you believe in Gartley and all this other stuff, this is where the one that you want to look at is where you, wow, this is be the one that I would want to be selling. Now, remember, the market has a, a lot of different components. And one of the things that, that people look at is that small cap stock. And if you take a look at this, this is the one you should do your homework on because it's very interesting. This is the uh, – uh, let's get this up here so we can see it. This is the Russell Index. And as you can see here, the Russell had a big sell-off for the last two hours of trading. Well, the Dow was going straight up. The S&P was going straight up. The NASDAQ were going straight up. The last two hours of the day on Friday – the Russell was getting hit badly, and it's it's continued that today. It's much weaker than the rest of the market. So if you're going to do something, do something with the weakest component, and that's the one that you want to focus on. By the way, our guest tomorrow will be Stan Harley. He was due to come on today, but he had some travel problems. His son got married on Saturday down there in Westlake Village, and uh, he'll be on our show tomorrow. So we'll be looking forward to what Stan has to say because he had a key date coming up here, uh, I believe, either the 19th or 20th. Well, we'll talk to him about that tomorrow, so we'll pay attention to that. Regarding the Dodger game last night, folks, I don't know if you people believe in numbers and statistics and everything, but I cannot believe what happened to that ball game. With a, tie, with a winning run on second base and two out, and their their best relief picture comes in. And what does he do? He has a choice of walking their best hitter, the guy who's hit three out of four hits for the day, knocked in half their runs on the day, of putting him on first base, which means absolutely nothing. The, go, the winning run is on second base. What does he do? Gives up a base hit and loses the game. Are you kidding me? You can't make this up. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
the Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I've been asked to take a look at the stock of Occidental Petroleum. It's being uh, pumped and dumped, I guess, uh, on Bloomberg and CNBC today. Don't know the reasoning behind it, but I posted the chart going back the last five or six years. You can see here this stock is much weaker than the market. You know, it has had a tremendous break, and all we've been able to do, we haven't even been able to rally back to the 382 retracement of that. Now, that's a, that's a long-term view of that. If we blow it up, on what it's looking at right now. Let's just get this up here so we'll be able to see it a little bit more clearly. And this is the daily chart of Occidental Petroleum. And what we're looking at here, you'll see the uh, the smiley face uh, cycles that are there. That's nothing more than an equal cycle uh, stretches out, you'll notice, to uh, uh, be equal right in here where we are right now. That is a three drive to a top pattern. You see, folks, you had a higher high uh, in March. You had a higher high uh, in July, and then you had these huge breaks, you know, breaking more than uh, 25, per, 25 or th well, 30 percent. And then also here uh, recently we had a break, and now we're coming back pretty strongly. But this is a three drive. Now, this stock is trading at 33.85. Okay, now if you look just slightly above there where that green line is, that's the 382 retracement of that move down from 2018. Uh, that comes in at 38.42, and that's going to be major resistance. So if you're buying it right here at 33.85, if where it's trading in the last trade that I had about an hour or so ago, you know you have to put your stop below that low of 31.20. That's not a bad stop. I mean, you can actually do that, but that gives you a minimum uh, price objective of five points higher. So you're risking. Two points to make five points. That's two and a half to one. There's nothing wrong with that. But you've got to get above there, and it could go a lot higher than 38.42 if, if oil continues to go higher. Whether it's going to do that or not it remains to be seen. You know, we're in the eighth week of a run, and to, to see something go up eight weeks in a row is uh, very, very unusual. Now, one of the videos that we worked on over the weekend 
was this video for the December um, soy <laughs> December soybean oil. I got soybeans on my mind uh, is to take a look at this crude oil because this is one of the things that we were looking at. We were taking this hourly chart going back over the last couple of weeks and just looking at the smaller patterns that line up with it and you'll notice that we had a lot of resistance up there at that 83 level. Well the Overnight high last night was uh, 83 uh, 09. We're now trading, I believe, uh, the last price here was 8170. I think we're close to that right now. So that's broken down more than $1,300 in just a very, very short period. And if you go back to, to see the uh, action back on 2000, or on the 11th of October, you'll see it backed off just a little bit. This is the biggest correction we've had in the shortest period of time that may or may not, may or may not be you know, something that's important. But our job as a pattern recognition swing trader is to find the best probability trades that you can find without risking very, very much. That's the whole key to that. Now, there's a couple that we've already, we those of you that belong to the 24-7, you know, we happen to be uh, along the euro with some small profits, but nice profits. There's nothing wrong with what we have on this up about three or four hundred dollars. But if we take a look here, this is the uh, dollar versus the U.S. dollar versus the Canadian. Let me just get this up. Now, look where we are here, folks. We've got an ABCD pattern sitting right here at the 61% retracement. Your risk on this trade is very, very small. I mean, you're, you're talking about the Canadian trading at 123.90. I mean, this is a, you're risking about $300, and a, the, uh, just the 382 and retracement on that is a $1,500 move. So those are the kinds that you want to look at. You want to think about how much I have to risk in order to be correct and that's what the whole key to this thing is all about now i bring this to your attention for two reasons i had several questions this morning well there were two <laughs> I, and that was about what was happening uh in the natural gas market i just wanted to get up there and show you how wild it is over there folks you think the s p has big moves take a look at this natural gas now, this is one of the best things you could possibly trade uh, it's trading at five. Well, when I posted this, it was trading around 518. But you'll see the huge swings we have here. Now, I'm, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the daily so that you'll be able to see it uh, just a little bit bigger because you'll be able to see. Actually, excuse me, it's a 30 minute chart because it's so wild. I'll be able to do it on 30 minutes. Let's get this up here. You'll see the the 30 minute chart now. There, you see the high that we made back on the 14th, folks? That was an exact 61% retracement of the high that we made at 6,400. We went from 6.48. We went from 6.48 all the way down to 5.12. Folks, that's $12,000 in five trading days. From there, we rallied from 518 all the way up to 596. That's $8,000 in two days. And then from 596 all the way down to new lows uh, Sunday night at uh, 5.08, and then we had the uh, little bit of a rally here. So this is, a, you're talking about 12,000 down, 8,000 up, 8,000 down. These are fabulous, folks, and the fills are incredible. I mean, they really, uh, you don't get, you know, the, the fills that you get are really incredible. I mean, you ought to take a look at natural gas for trading purposes. It's, it's really quite, uh, it's quite nice. But if you'll take a look at this, we always talk about this. Not many people follow it too much, thank goodness, thank goodness. But this happens to be the natural gas here uh, on Sunday night. You'll notice here that it had the big gap down here uh, on Sunday night, the, uh, uh, the 17th. And we came down, made lower lows, and we rallied up exactly to the 382 retracement up there at 3700 We rallied $3,000 and then down $3,000. That's a $6,000 move. Folks, that's equivalent to 120 S&P points. We haven't seen 120 S&P points swing in a day in a long time. So this market has tremendous volatility, so pay attention to it because uh, the numbers work well because you got the public involved. And remember, when it was trading at 640, the, every, everybody in the world said it was going to go to double digits. And, you know, <laughs> I, I don't know how to explain that, but uh, you've got to think of what they're trying to tell you when they're telling you those kind of things. And you got to remember, some of these guys have ulterior motives when you give, you, give yourself these types of uh, ideas here. So let's remind ourselves 
uh, of that as we as we walk through these things because we are at real critical levels in all of these things and we need to pay uh, very very close attention to them. Try to get into Basil's show if you can on Tuesday. Uh, I believe it's at four o'clock. Uh, double check it. Go to wwtfnn.com. Great information. And if you're in the stock market at all, pay close attention to him because he does some of the best stock market work around. And uh, I think you'll uh, I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, and in fact, I'm 100 percent sure you'll enjoy it. OK, now what we're going to do now is we're going to have a break coming up for just a minute. Then we're going to look at some uh, things in the precious metals, because I think there's some things happening that that are pretty important. And uh, we're going to take a quick look at those and uh, then move on. And also we'll take a, just a tiny look at copper because it's had such big swings here uh, today. We're going to be doing that. So we'll be back right after the break. And we'll be looking, starting off the show uh, with copper, and then we'll look at uh, some of the other things in the precious metals like the gold and the silver. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, folks, we're going to take a look at copper today. Uh, you'll notice I put the daily chart up there. It's at basically it looks like one of those moonshots of uh, William Shatner going into space. But that's a big run in copper. You'll see we ran from 44, 441 up to uh, 482 without even a heartbeat of a stop. And all we were looking at today was we wanted to find a spot where we might be able to uh, trade the short side of copper without risking an arm and a leg. Well, if you're going to do that, what you have to do is you've got to go down to a smaller time frame chart. And so what we try to do from we go to a daily, we'll move down to a 15 minute chart to get an idea of uh, what we're looking at. And here's what you're seeing when you're when you're looking at this. And this is one of the things we try to cover for the 24-7 uh, newsletter folks and the videos and stuff is we, I didn't act, actually do copper uh, last night because we were watching the stock market and a few other things, uh, the gold and, uh, of course, the euro and soybeans. The soybeans worked absolutely perfectly. We went right down to the perfect 382 and rallied a, a quick $600, which was uh, what we'd like to see. But look at this. You'll notice here on Sunday night we made a high up there at 482. Then we dropped about $0.10, cents, uh, $0.09 cents down to uh, uh, 473. Then we had a, a nice 61% rally up to 479. Now you've got a lower high. Uh, in there, but that's not the easy trade. The easy trade is the one to the right, where you're instead of selling it at 480, sell it at 477. The reason why you're selling it there now you have a lower low than what you had on Sunday night, plus you had a lower high. You're now in a downtrend, and you can see selling at 477 made you a quick eight cents without uh, too much trouble, and it's still. It's still dropping, but that, that's what you want to look for is to find the ones where you get the idea or the uh, short-term trend uh, in your favor. And I, I hope that helps. It's a, it's a 135. That's exactly what it is, Bo. It's a 135 on a 15-minute chart. That's really all you're, all you're trying to do is to find those. And those are the ones that give you the, uh, you know, the best uh, opportunity that uh, you can possibly look for. Now, I will uh, spend just a moment here. Uh, we've talked about the euro quite a bit over the past few weeks. I don't want to spend any more time with that. I think we've made a major bottom in the euro. The other thing is I believe we've made a pretty significant bottom uh, in the, uh, the soybean market. Uh, it actually missed the exact price we wanted by about uh, two cents which uh, is not uh, unheard of in these days, but uh, that's, uh, that's what you want to be watching as, you're, as you start to look at some of these things. So hold on one second here, folks. I, uh, I can't believe I missed that. Oh, dear. I actually I did a video all about the soybeans, and I didn't include it in the newsletter. I can't believe I missed that. Boy, that is not acceptable, Larry. Come on now. Why did you do that? But we will take a look at the... Uh, the soybean meal here because this is the one that uh, is close enough because it's 80 percent of the value of the soybeans let's take a look here uh, <laughs> okay let's move on here we'll take a look here you'll see here we've made these big ABCD patterns now in December soybean meal we've made new lows from last October we've had a pretty good rally this is a major bottom I believe here in the, the, the December soybean meal folks so as long as it doesn't get below 310 I think it's got a chance to go a little bit higher and uh, we'll see uh, we'll see what uh, see how these things uh, unfold here but I just can't believe I, I that I don't have a chart in on the soybeans even though I did a special video on the darn thing and I didn't put the chart in I have the chart of the soybean oil but I don't have the chart of the soybeans itself I have the meal but not the oil that's not acceptable okay now we've covered that we've covered this I wanted to uh, share a chart with you from uh, JC Parrots from All Star Charts uh, he has some really great information. We had him as a guest last week, and we're going to have him again in another few weeks here. But he's got an interesting chart here that shows the relationship of uh, Chinese stocks and also uh, the European stocks and how they've underperformed You know what we're seeing here. You can see each one of these uh, is the Hong Kong market, the Shanghai market the stock index, and then also the S&P 500. But you can see here that the, the Hong Kong market okay, and the, and the Shanghai markets have been extremely bearish compared to what we've seen here in the U.S. market. And that's not unusual because our news here is better 
than it's been. We don't have, well, we don't have one yet, but we don't have a situation where you've got, uh, I guess it's called Evergrande is still in trouble, but the Chinese uh, uh, public, uh, their central bank said not to worry, we'll take care of that, and they probably will, and the market's already telling you that that's what they're going to do. So let's pay a very close attention to that. It's very important. Now, there's something that I do want to focus on because we are a very, very, uh, very, very important number here. Just let me get it up here one second here, and we'll be able to take a quick look at it. This is it right here. I want to move over to this because this is where I think the ball game is going to be played here in volatility very, very shortly if it hasn't already started. And that is this uh, 382 that we just hit in the Dow Jones, <laughs> the dollar index, the U.S. dollar index. We got up to almost that 95 level. Uh, hitting 94.70, uh, and I believe that's going to be it. There may be one more jab up there, but it's going to take some type of a news announcement to do it. And frankly, I don't know if, if it's got it in or not, but it looks like it's got a real chance to uh, to fit that into the program here because as long as we don't get above 95 in that dollar index, that means that the euro, which is 53% of the dollar index, should be going higher and the dollar index going lower. Now, remember, the, the U.S. dollar has been king for a very, very long time, as Mr. O'Brien coined it back in 1973 when it was trading down there at 73. Well, it's at, uh, it's at 95 now, 94 and change. So it's had one heck of a run. And this is a 382 retracement in a bear market. That's the ideal situation based on Gartley's 222 pattern. And I think that uh, we've got to pay very cl close attention to these because it's important. And none other than what we're looking at here, folks, that I just I just showed you one that is the exact opposite. If you want to go against the dollar, you buy the buy, excuse me, you buy the dollar here against the Canadian. This is a. Uh, this is where the dollar should rally against the Canadian. If it fails there, that tells you that that U.S. dollar is fading, and that's that's the one that you want to you – know, if it gets anywhere below that 123 level, this would be a failure in that Canadian dollar, and that means that that uh, dollar is going to strengthen, and, uh, the, uh, and that's just against the Canadian because each one of these is separately, folks. you got to look at each cross rate. Uh, and, and we do that each each week. We look at all the cross rates to sh show you how different they are, because the Japanese yen is totally different than everything else. Uh, Mr. Z is asking, are you trading uh, Comex on the long side? I am on the other side of that, Bubba. I am on the short side. I we we hit some major stuff up here uh, on the market here. Let's just get this up here, and uh, I'll give you a 10, 10 4 of what we're looking at right here. Just do silver first, and uh, we'll just get up. This is what I'm taking a look at, Z, where we had silver on fr – oh, shut the front door. Just give me a second here. Here it is. This is the silver, and I'll be back with gold in just a moment. Wow. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
Paperwhite's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, uh, we're talking with Mr. Z here in the den about the uh, gold. I posted the daily gold chart, uh, well, excuse me, the four-hour chart that basically shows the daily. We had that 61% retracement up there at 1797. The high was 1801 and change. Uh, then we immediately reversed, and as you can see, you know, on the weekly chart, we closed in the lower end of the range for the week down there at 1768, and that's, believe, where we're trading right now. The reason why I'm still bearish is if you'll look at this from the high we made back in August of uh, 2000 when we hit uh, 2000, uh, you know, 2090, uh, then we've been made lower highs all the way through here, folks. Even in this last rally that we had in May of this year, it was still lower than the high that we made in January. And now the high that we made just recently, uh, five weeks ago, was was lower and then we also have another one yesterday was lower plus you you have that uh that uh you know uh i think it what's that called a, a shooting star uh pattern i think is what it's called where you go higher and then look lower uh so that's uh that's interesting that uh that i think we got one more move to the downside and i would love to see it take out all that resistance I know that's a long way down, 100 bucks, but at 1680, get it down to roughly the uh, 16, uh, 1610, or just a little below 1600. That's down 160 dollars. I, I know you don't think it could get there, but there's a chance that it could, given the news. But the other question to have, Mr. Z, is when would I turn bullish? I would turn bullish if we get above 1800 again. I think uh, you'd have to turn bullish because that means you'd be breaking that downtrend line, and you've had higher bottoms now. If it does that, then I then I will look to be bullish. But I hate you know I hate buying strength and say absolutely it's my curse, so I don't do it. I, what I'll do is I'll just wait for a little pullback and buy, much like I, what we did in soybeans today. You know, it had a nice little pullback right to the 382, and we were able to buy it and uh, had a nice uh, $600 profit in it. And so that's what we're what we're looking at when we try to do that. So that's what I'm watching in the gold. Silver's acting pretty good itself. You know, it's uh, backed off just a little bit from these levels, but uh, that's that's what my game plan uh, is in the gold market. I I, I tried to. Uh, uh, give that indication when we were doing the video on it uh, over the weekend but it had all earmarks that it wanted to go a little bit lower uh, today and so far we've only had a high of, of what uh, 1772 we rallied 10 bucks 12 bucks off the bottom 
and that's uh, that's what we're watching right now. Let me double check and see if I can see uh, the last price is what sixteen uh, sixty eight. You know, that's uh, really what we're what we're paying attention to right now. The, the the one that I, you know, we're watching a couple things, you know, very, very closely. We've been very bearish bonds for a long time. We're still quite bearish. They're having a tiny bit of a, if you can call this a rally uh, today, but, uh, you know, that's on our watch list. And the, the, the crude oil market is on our watch list because of all the numbers that are coming through that look very interesting. But nothing is more important than what we're seeing here in these all of these stock indices and everything, folks, because they are making perfectly symmetrical numbers with ABCDs and stuff. And we just completed the one in the NASDAQ that we've been waiting to see. Let's see if we can get this up here. Yep, we're there right now. Let's just get this here and we will bring it up here and uh, show you what we're watching here. One second. There we go. And... Um, this is it because you know maybe we're going to go up and make new highs i don't know but we're going to see so there's what we're looking at in the nasdaq and if we take a look at this on a uh, a little bit a uh, little bit uh, smaller time frame what we're looking at here is and all we're all we're looking at now folks is a uh, artificial intelligence uh, uh, estimation of when the market should turn down and that happens to be exactly at 12 o'clock now whether that'll happen today or not we're just making new highs right now as it should be so uh, it should be right around exactly uh, 12 o'clock that is in 15 minutes is when we should start to roll over our show will be ending around that time and so we'll pay very very close attention now the way what I do is, as I got one of these things coming up here, what I'm going to do now is I'll just go down to a smaller time frame here to draw in the pattern that I'm looking at to see if it's going to get to that level. And I'm just going to bring it up here and let you see it uh, yourself so you get a rough idea of when we do these uh, day trading things, how you can learn to do some of this stuff yourself. I'm just looking for the top to come in here at about uh, about 20 points higher than where we are right now, right around 152.29, uh, 152.30, uh, somewhere in that ballpark. Now, if we get there and I'm under that, then I still know where I am. But if I'm higher than that, then I've got a danger signal staring me in the face. So that's what I'm paying attention to here. So we're we're watching these very, very closely. This market is it's been very bullish. It look the wild swings we're having. We're going to see more and more of those. I mean, look at this. The market went from uh, 44.70 all the way down to 44.36 right at the opening, down 25 points. I mean, that was a and and at that point you had a perfect three drive to a bottom pattern in the E-mini S&P on a 15-minute chart. I mean, just you couldn't make it up. And believe me, folks, these algorithmic traders that are out there, they're using these things. I mean, they're using these numbers. You know, you can see it in Basil's work. You can see it in uh, uh, David White's work, uh, Steve Rhodes. I mean, all these people are looking at the same types of numbers, and so are these people on Wall Street. It's all a numbers game. You know, that that's really what it's about. Last night in that baseball game, my, my daughter from uh, Denver calls me up as they as they made the switch and brought the 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 uh, the uh, pinch the pinch pinch the, the relief pitcher in. And she said, Dad, she said, are you believe what we're watching? And I said, yeah, I know it's hard to believe, isn't it? Here they have a man that is a, he's a great pitcher, but he's playing against the best hitter that they have with a winning run on second base. That That's the run that counts. The first base is empty. All he has to do is to walk the best hitter and pitch to the, the, the batter next to him. It's not very good. Why doesn't he do that? That's simple mathematics. Not only that, he's a right-handed pitcher against a left-handed batter. That alone is a 40% edge. I mean, I don't understand it. But he's paid $5 million a year for that, and I don't get nothing for it. But that's what I could see. And I said to Sarah, I said, uh, this game's over. And she says, well, it's not over yet. And I said, it will be soon. And then the next pitch, the guy slapped one into center field, and it was over. But that's neither here nor there. I didn't hear any comment about it, so evidently I'm totally wrong. But uh, when my daughter and I both saw it, uh, it was pretty apparent that the statistics were on the side of uh, the Atlanta Hawk and Atlanta Braves, and that certainly uh, is what happened. So that's what we're paying attention to here. So let's pay close attention to it. Tomorrow we're going to have Stan Harley on. I'm hoping we I believe we have Tim Bost uh, the following week. I have a couple other guests that I'm hoping to have on later this week, but I haven't been able to line them up yet. Uh, Mark Leibowitz of Volume Reversal. 
and also Jeff Cooper, uh, who's a GAN specialist, also a, a old friend from the Old Pismo Beach days, is also very good. And we believe we have Joe DiNapoli coming in next week again for a replay. So some of those will be pretty interesting to uh, to see what we're happening. See, so watch this uh, around 12 o'clock here, 10 minutes. We've got a break coming up. Uh, then we have the next, uh, the following show. Remember, Basil's show is coming on tomorrow, I believe, in the afternoon. Just go to TFNN. It's for his subscribers. Can't miss. 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis the tiger first mortgage program may be the program for you the best rate on a five-year cd in the country right now according to bankrate.com is paying one percent per year or one thousand dollars per one hundred thousand dollars invested the tiger first mortgage program pays seven percent per year paid monthly on secured high value buildable properties in st petersburg florida the investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, I posted that uh, three drive to a bottom pattern on the uh, E-mini S&P looking at that 15-minute. Uh, you know, that was down about four, ooh, 35 handles from the high. And, of course, we went up. We've taken those highs out now overnight, which is not unusual because we should be topping here if this is correct. Now, what I did now is I'd like for you to take a look at this because this is the type of thing that is uh, mother god and country from my perspective. And that is if we take a look at what's happening, and I mentioned this in the video uh, over the weekend to, to pay attention to this because here we have 
the uh, Russell just now, just as we the, the my my alert just went off just now at uh, uh, 2267. That's the 382 retracement. Now remember where we are now, folks. We are above these highs in the Nasdaq. Okay, we're above these highs in the S and P 500, and we're making a 382 retracement in the Russell. Now, you know, W.D. Gann said this, and Jesse Livermore said this, and a whole bunch of other people said this, is you want to sell the weakest, and believe me, this is the weakest. We're sitting right there at the 382 level. Now, here we are, about five minutes to go. In 10 or 15 minutes, if this thing is trading above, uh, say, 10 points higher than where it is now, you say, oh, this is probably not working this time. So now you've got a situation where you've got a perfect risk set up. Instead of pitching to the dude that's the best hitter on the team, you're getting the next next hitter that's only had a, a 128 batting average and that's the one you want to pitch i still don't understand how dave roberts could do that sorry about that folks but and you know it's really funny because uh when when jill and i were chatting she said dad she says you know it's still exciting she says even though we don't know the players like we did then she said it's still exciting i said i know sweetie because that's all part of our history because she went to school with about a half a dozen of the dodgers uh kids and, and she's still friends with a couple of them, so you know it's still uh, still there. So that's what we're that's what we're watching here. Anyway, that's what we're paying attention to tomorrow. Stan Harley, you don't want to miss him. He's always got some great stuff, and he's got a really big cycle date due here between the 18th and the 20th. That's why we've scheduled him, so he will be on tomorrow, and we'll be able to look at. It. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. <laughs>